All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another undisputed video. I'll give um, I'll give Ke Canelo a try today. It's been a while since I played as him and big cello the other, uh, recently when he made that request video for Roy Jones and Canelo. He originally wanted me to use Canelo. I should have asked him really, but we'll do do some Canelo gameplay for this one. What weight though? That's the question. Welterweight is lowest weight. What about middleweight? Oh, I'll tell you what, let's go against. So it's a bit more. Fucking hell, look at the size of Calzaghi there. Got 90 all round, even Stevens. St. Andrews, I do like that venue. That's a. It's one of my favourite venues, though. Let's go to. Go Empire Pro at night. Uh, undisputed difficulty modifier at one and a half. I feel like I've not used Canelo for a while. I like going against him because he's just so, you know, he's got like, you know, big stats and it's a bit more of a challenge when you you go against someone when there's a bit of a stat gap. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. It's time for our tale of the tape. Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. Fucking MMA guru on the right there with the baseball cap. Fucking looks the spit the of him. Do you see that? Okay, you are no. looking at an absolute legend, the longest reigning super middleweight champion in boxing history, spanning over 10 years, defending against 20 opponents. They have waited for this fight for so long, Todd. This is ridiculous. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned That really does look like the boxing. MMA guru stood behind Canelo there. You know what I mean? UFC. UFC. Why can't he say UFC properly? It says UFC. Canelo Alvarez. MMA the blue guru, corner, lord of the incels. The world Actually watch Guru's channel. He has some really good, uh, good insights. Introducing the two division champion about some of the, of the stuff that goes on in the UFC and that the fighters. It's, a, it's fun to watch at times. Joe, the Italian dragon Calzaghi. We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but the fans will only need the edge. This is one of those places where if you can fight, if you know you can fight, you don't need a crowd, you don't need anything. What size of oh, Joe compared to Canelo? These two fighters promise I wish you could do uh, I, I don't think you can do this, but I've tried and to, but to no avail. Like even if you're playing just single player. Uh, sorry. Yes, single player. Or even if you're just playing online, I guess. But I wish you could select the boxer uh, every boxer's alternate attire. So like you know, like if you'd have like mirror matches, like if you go like, I don't know, Canelo versus Canelo. You know, there'll be the blue gloves and the blue shorts, and then there'll be like I can't remember what his, his other attire is. I wish you could, like, just pick the other attire by, like, holding, like, shoulder buttons and things like that and then pressing, like, a, you know, press, pressing a button to select the boxer like you could do in, like, old school games. I've got them hurt already. Yeah, like, to just change up the attires a little bit, you know, and select it up, the, the player two attire, if you like. Oh. Nice right check right up there from Joe. Yeah, just be nice instead of just using these same colours all the time. That you can just like change it up a bit. I've tried it with a few thick boxes. I've tried like holding like L2 and R2 and you know picking the boxer and holding all the shoulder buttons just in case it was some kind of like secret that you could do like a video games of old where you could do stuff like that, like alternate costumes. But maybe that's something for. Some of you to suggest in the undisputed Discord. 
I, I, like I'm not a user of anything like that, but beautiful counter shot. Maybe uh, that's something that they could add down the line, just to, to give people a bit of a different choice of outfits. You know, I don't know if we're gonna get to, you know, when the game finally drops, uh, sorry, releases, when the game finally releases, whether you'll be able to edit the existing boxes, like change the color of the of their attire. I wouldn't have a problem with not being able to change their attire. Like, you know, if, if you weren't allowed to remove Canelo's shorts and gloves, but it, it'd be at least nice to change the color scheme. At a minimum, you know, uh, you know, be able to change these gloves on his shorts for like his all red look, and a, you know, or whatever, you know. I'd, I'd settle for that, rather than just like picking a completely different set of shorts. I mean, if you could, if you could pick completely different sets of shorts and you know, put put the logos on that you wanted, put his you know his Canelo Alvarez logo on on his shorts, or put them on the back of his gloves, you know, like. Because I think he actually uses his own. Does he use his own brand of gloves? Are they? Are they is it no boxing, no life? The the, uh, the brand of gloves he uses. Are they his own gloves? Like I'm not sure. Or is it, or is it just like a? Like a brand that he favours, you know, he tends to use them a lot, doesn't he? I've always wondered if oh, right up a cut, left up connected. I've always wondered if they like it with his own, uh, you know, brand of boxing glove. I know a lot of boxers like to favour certain types of gloves, like you know, you get Mayweather, he likes to use you know Grant's a lot, doesn't he? And some people like using winning uh, boxing gloves, like the Japanese winning gloves, and obviously there's that classic Clito Reyes glove. Um, nice counter. Which fighter will say no mods? Oh, nice uppercut left up combination again. He's been setting up this moment the entire fight. He's got to cash in now. And it appears the onslaught. Oh, hard liver shot there. Left uppercut to the body lands. Trying to fight his way out of this. He might just want to hold on. Play some defense. He didn't wait too long to get back and get engaged. He blocks the left. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Can't get over how big Joe's model is compared to Saul's. not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. You know, I know. Um, I know this game gets a lot of shit for its like animations, doesn't it? Like some of the animations. But at least he made the effort, didn't he, with a couple of like the the sort of marquee boxes. So like Canelo there with his, you know, his unique left hook and uh, right up a cut animation, and probably a couple of other punches that he's got. You know, they might have only done it with the marquees, but the marquee fighters. But at least he fucking made the effort, unlike fucking UFC five or you know a lot most of the fucking UFC games. You know, they couldn't be fucking bothered. You know, they'll. It made me laugh as well because when they they did this sort of first reveal trailer, and they fucking uh, they were like, oh, we've got the latest facial uh, animation technology, and they, and they cut to like, I mean, it's not the latest technology, is it? Let's be honest, fucking hell. And they cut to it like an image of Valentina Shevchenko with like all the sort of the motion capture dots on her face to capture like all the the ranges of movement in her mouth when she moves and stuff like that, and. You know, her facial expressions to capture all them because she's like in a, a tiny cutscene at the beginning of the game with Coach Davis. So they went through all that effort to just capture her face just for that bullshit cutscene. So they can, you know, why couldn't they go the extra mile and just use that same technology to to capture a few fighters, you know, movements and 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 strike animations? That would have. I mean, if I was developing that game, if I was like the head developer or whatever, or you know, the head poncho in charge of, you know, things that are that are in that game, like that's ex and I wanted to like make UFC game fans happy. That's one of the first things I'd be getting done. I'd be like, you know, get a bunch of fighters mo capped, even if it's only like uh, you know a, a fighter from every weight division, but everyone in the top ten, and then anyone else just gets like you know 
shares the same animation, uh, you know, a bunch of animation presets, but at least give the people in the top 10, bring them into the studio, get their animations done. But uh, at least Steel City went that extra mile with the marquee fighters and, and you know, brought them in. You know, they got fo this footage of Roy Jones Jr. in the mocap gear hitting pads. Do you know what I mean? They went through all that extra fucking effort. So you got to tip your hat to Steel City for that, like, you know. But, uh, like I say, I know a lot of the other animations are dog shit and I'll be the first one to fucking criticise some of them. Because they look fucking like shit. But others, at least they went, at least they, they went through the efforts to get fighters in and capture some of the what their punches actually look like so there's a, a bit of a uniqueness in how some of them feel you know like how they throw the shots and fucking EA can't be bothered they'd rather just you know capture how someone's fucking oh capture how someone's mouth moves in a cutscene <laughs> that, that's all you're getting that's all they could be fucking ass doing yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll bring Valentina in one of like the best fucking you know female straw weights. But uh, we won't fucking bother fucking capture it in animations. No, oh, we've got her hair looking nice as well. The fucking strand based hair physics. That's all you're getting. That's all we can be bothered fucking doing. Oh, it's a nice combination there. Liver shot, right, straight, left, up. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown it. Oh, right up a cut left up again. Took a heavy shot. It appears that the Joe Calzaghi just got rocked. Calzaghi oh, finally that one-two breaks through that block. Oh, that's a nice one-two there. I like uh, Canelo's right straight animation. I very rarely get any like like flash KOs in this game. I, I have plenty of them done to me against the AI. You know, it's all like a a random chance fucking dice roll situation with this game. I don't fully uh, I don't fully like how they've implemented the flash knockdown uh, sorry the flash well either flash knockdowns or flash knockouts. You know, there's plenty of times I've countered the AI with like a whatever, like a pull counter right uppercut and it's been like a flush counter. And you could fully justify like a flash knockdown at the very minimum or a flash knockout. You know, and the times I have lost to a flash KO, it's not really been anything significant that I've been countered with. It's just like the AI threw a shot and the game just deemed it that, that the fight was over. Um, there was no like rhyme or reason for it to like be a fight ending punch. I didn't get countered clean. I didn't get slipped and then blasted. It's just been like, we've just been stood here like this. And then the AI will just uncork like a right hook. Like any one of these shots could, could be a fucking, you know, like a flash knockdown or a. It just it feels totally random to me. But like when you play something like Fight Night, oh, nice combination there. When you feel play something like even UFC Four, I felt that good like, you know, knockdowns like that where it's like, you know, if you make someone miss or you counter someone or at the right moment or. You know, you, you get them with very little stamina and you hit them with a shot on top of that. You, you're most of the time either going to get a knockdown or a, a straight-up KO. Down. But in this game, they haven't quite perfected the uh, nice how the flash way. KOs and no knockdowns work. It just feels, like I say, punch. totally random to me. Which is just... This is a shame. You know, it's just another area that sort of needs to be tightened up. Oh, hard right power straight to the body there. Oy. Right into the solar plexus.
Oh, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Oh, and another lovely combination. That's my favourite combination, I think. Or oh, my favourite three-punch combo. With a shot right straight and the left up up top. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Perfect counter lands. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. I love the response though, got back up, took a deep breath, thought right, brush it off, get on with the job. Here's the bell to start round six. He got knocked down in the last round, let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown, you know in the corner now they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him, do not I, give him I tend to, to use, breathe. I know people complain him, about the, uh, him down, him the back step straight, like the I guess they're saying it gets spammed online a lot. On, shake your leg. It's the only straight I use purely because, I mean, apart from Canelo's standing right straight, because his looks different to everyone else's and it actually looks decent. I never use the standard, the static sort of right straight because I just don't like how it looks. I, I purely use this, the back step straight, just because it's a better look and punch. Like, I just like how it looks compared to the, the other one. I mean, obviously, like I said, Canelo's the exception. He's got like a, a different standing right straight to everyone else. Oh, and the one two again. Just had no block left again. at all times but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all it looks like he's going to survive the round here but just barely you've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is going to be we just saw you've been put down you've got to think right still think the ai is a little bit too easy i, I know they're, they're taking steps in the right direction to get the AI in a more challenging state. You know, it was like fucking child's play over the past, like, three or four months to, to go up against the AI on the hardest setting, but I still feel like it's a little bit... Too, I mean, if you if you, if you you start fucking around against it, it'll it'll make you pay, like... You know, I've been... I'm getting hurt in a lot more of these fights now. Still not lost, really, but... I'm getting hurt and I have to back away. You know, when you get that little uh, exclamation icon appearing at the bottom, just take a step back, recover a little bit, but if you stay in the pocket there, and, you know, the AI will fuck you up if you let it. But it needs more work doing to it, especially with the career mode just around the corner. Uh, well, the beta version of the career mode. It's going to be an ongoing process. You know, console players are probably going to get the game in... 2077 <laughs> fucking, you know the year of fucking cyberpunk it's like a probably when undisputed will come out on consoles but you know i get asked that question all the time in my comment section like when's it coming out on consoles like and i don't answer the question because a i don't know the answer to it and b it doesn't matter how many times i answered it there's always going to be people asking the question in the comments so it just becomes like a fruitless endeavor just trying to you know answer the question i don't really know the answer to um but if you ask me if i was if i was a console player and i was waiting for this game i'd be saying take it i know you're impatient and you just want the game like you know but just you're better off letting the developers take their time it doesn't matter how long it takes it's been in development for years now so you know what's the arm in waiting 
however long you know the last thing you want them to do is, is rush this because I guarantee is if you if you were to play this game now a lot of years you'd probably enjoy it but a lot of years would once you've actually got your hands on it you'd think fucking hell this is this needs a lot of work like you know trust me it's the longer this sort of stays getting polished in development the better it's it's nowhere near ready for a, like a wide widespread release yet on consoles it's just not as well it's this it's completely bare bones for a start it's only got like you know online play you know single player stuff and and, and the prize fight so there's fuck all to do in it at the moment like i say we've got the career mode coming in maybe a month or two and they're gonna have to iron out the kinks in career mode on pc for a while before you know it's, it's gonna be a while yet before consoles get this but for the better if you'd ask me it's for the better It'll, you'll you'll be grateful of it hopefully when they're ready to release it and they and it's all like polished up and up to speed and you know no game is 100 percent like especially in today's fucking gaming gaming world you know games are released on fucking release day and then they're fucking considered unfinished if, if you don't believe that fucking look at ufc 5 that's out fucking things out next month and they're saying the game's unfinished it is finished it's just fucking you've got an excuse for when the game comes out and then when people start reporting the reporting the first load of bullshit problems that are wrong with it the devs are just going to turn around and go oh it's it's, it's not finished yeah but you released it though on an official fucking release date and you took pre-orders do you know what i mean so it is finished just giving yourself excuses that there's loads of shit already in the game that you haven't fucking managed to fix is that one two again tried to get him with a liver shot there to to get a knockdown but the straight knocked him down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i thought we might have one more get up out of him there but I wouldn't mind seeing uh, some new animations added to the game as well. As, you know, the walkout animations when they walk into the ring. I would, you know, I don't think we're gonna get them, but they're all the same, aren't they? Like, you know, it's the same with these victory animations and the, the knockdown. Eh, sorry, the knockout animation when Kalzagi just sort of rolled onto his back there as if he was like, you know, lying in an open meadow on a hot summer day and he just rolls back on the picnic blanket to look up in, into the clouds and have a bit of a daydream like that's what it looks like that animation it's it's all the same it's the same animation same win animation from canelo have a couple of different ones you know you know have an animation there 